transforming the company with AI means that we can design new kinds of business models, new sources of competitive advantage, but that implies then that we have to also reorganize the company. We have to transform its operations, its organizational structures, processes, even its culture. And that means that the core people are the managers. The key people who have to lead this transformation are specifically the managers. It's not the technologists, it's not the programmers or even the engineers. It's the managers. The skills that managers will need in order to lead and be successful in this transformation are on one hand related to understanding the technology and its economic properties. You have to be able to understand how AI even works and what are its economic properties, how does it scale, what does the cost curves and learning curves look like and so on. That is not a task that can eventually be delegated to some business translator or otherwise who happens to be between the managers and the technologists. That might need to be a short-term solution, but in the end, the managers have to be able to understand the technology that underlies the core processes of their organization and their business model. Second, you have to understand how those algorithms learn and develop, so you have to understand learning strategy. How do you collect, develop and exploit data? And on the other hand, they have to understand how do you organize organizational processes when the core aspects of your process can be updated at the push of a button when you retrain your model. That optimization is in the algorithm. You do not need to retrain lots of individuals, change for fundamentally structures. Once that algorithm is in place, what you're able to do is scale your operations at a completely different level than if you relied on human expertise only. Third, the human work is going to be more flexible and more creative. A lot of the routines move to the algorithms and the key value aspects for the humans is to be creative, be flexible, develop algorithms, run experiments. So that implies that the managers, the leaders of those organizations have to be able to be effective at motivating employees, inspiring them, building culture, give inspiration to individuals who are no longer being motivated by career advancements in hierarchies, but are being motivated by wanting to do good, wanting to advance, wanting to learn new things, and simply by creativity.